Um, everybody has the right on this planet while they live to make a contribution and to give their opinion and that might not be the same as everybody else's. Where you can express what you want to say and your emotions and just like let it out. What makes it great is this idea of democracy. The key democratic right. The idea that you and I could disagree on a certain matter but we can still find some ways in which we share common ground and can get on and be kind to each other. To me personally, freedom of speech is the ability to show your personality so through what you're saying and what you're talking about. Well, an interesting question is what are the limits of free speech? Freedom of speech means to me to be able to communicate with the people who I love and to be unique in what I wear. Freedom of speech lets everybody, no matter what they look like or where they are from, have a say and express their opinions or vote for who they want governmentally. It lets them wear what they like when they want without being judged. Freedom of speech can be traced back to 399 BC. They lost their right to communicate with anyone because they committed a crime. Lost that right? I think that they should have. Um, I think it should affect the time because they've done something wrong. But I think they should get more than they did. Augusto Boal is a Brazilian theatre director, writer and politician and he was one of the key people who first started using theatre as a way to educate people and make them feel confident. Augusto Boal believed that people should have a voice and that was regardless of your power or your status or your economic situation. He believed that everybody had the right to have their opinions and their feelings heard. August de Boal used a form of street theatre called Forum Theatre where he'd go into the streets of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and he would gather a crowd and make people stand in a circle and he'd present an issue and then he would encourage people to look at that issue from lots of different viewpoints and in doing so people would learn how to empathise and understand situations, listen to each other and everybody therefore felt much happier because they thought their views had been heard. Um, Augusto Boal was in prison because certain people in the government felt that his techniques were making people in society feel that they had a right and the government at the time were quite enjoying the fact that uh, people might have felt oppressed so he developed Theatre of the Oppressed and wrote lots of books about it which was um, his way of saying if you use theatre we can make you have a voice and make you understand what your rights are. The government became very scared of that and thought that might be a bit dangerous because they quite enjoyed having the power. So that's why they imprisoned and tortured him. Well, as deputy head boy next year, my role is to get students' voices heard, you know, get their own personal opinions to where it matters. Well, I'm looking at setting up a, a student newspaper for the sixth form, once again to get students' voices heard, get them talking about things that relate to them and they can have their own opinion on it. So freedom of speech, really, if it's respected, could lead to wars being redundant, battles being redundant, and then 